Okay, so of course iPhone OS 4.0 just was announced and uh, shown off yesterday and brought a lot of really cool features. Well, what some people don't know is that if you jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch, you can get these features immediately. In fact, a lot of us who have jailbroken have been enjoying these features for years. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to very quickly and very simply go ahead and get many of the very cool features, such as customizable backgrounds, um, you can see the very nice dock, um, you saw a uh, really quick and easy multitasking, as well as even folders. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get all of this very quickly and very simply. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay. So the first step is going to be to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, if you've never jailbroken before, it can be a little bit intimidating. Really, it's not all that bad. Okay. Um, now, if you look on the screen right now, I'm going to have an annotation. Go ahead and click that. That will bring you to my video on how to jailbreak with Red Snow. Um, Red Snow is a fantastic jailbreak program. Um, really, really, really solid. You shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. So go ahead, pause the video right now, and click on the annotation. Go ahead, watch the video, make sure that you do have the right device, and go ahead and jailbreak it. If you're already jailbroken, good job. Now we'll go ahead and go on to the next step. Okay, so now that you have a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch, you're ready to go on and get all the really cool add-ons and mods. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is open up Cydia. It should be this icon right here. Just click on it, give it a minute to load, and you will be at this screen. So now, you can see on the bottom you have five tabs. Very simply, go over to Manage. Okay. Now come to sources, come to edit. You if you if this is, if you're brand new to jailbreaking, you will not have these, but it's no big deal. Just come up here to edit and then click add. Okay. Now we are going to add a source. Um, don't worry about how this works, whatever. Sources are basically just ways to get uh, different packages, themes, all that kind of stuff. Basically just where you get it from. Okay? So again, I kind of want you to go ahead and type this down. Um, I'll have it in the description or the underbar or whatever they call it these days. Um, it is podulo.com. So P O D U L O.com. Okay? Just punch it in exactly like that. Just click Add Source. Give it just a minute. And then it will update the source and download all of the goodies from it and get you all set up. So just give it a minute and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so now it basically should just redirect you right back to where you were, and now you should see the Podulous repo, okay? So as long as you see it, you should be 100% good to go. Now that we have the repo, all we have to do is come over here to search, and we're going to download four packages, okay? So the first one you're going to want to go ahead and do is, uh, this is a theme that I, I actually created last night, uh, and it's basically an iPhone OS 4.0 theme. So... Um, keep in mind, when you do search in Cydia, again, if you're new to this, um, the keyboard lags like crazy, so don't worry about it. It's not dying or anything. So just type it very slowly. Just type in iPhone. You can type it fast. it just lag a bunch. Okay, hit space. OS. Okay, and there you go. Um, there's a few themes in here, but what you need to look for is the iPhone OS 4.0 theme. Okay, and it should say from Podulous. Go ahead and click on it, and then you will be brought to this screen. Um, now again, I made this theme. It's not a very in-depth theme, but iPhone OS 4.0 isn't, you know, a ton of amazing stuff. So basically, this is just going to allow you to take a look at it. So scroll through here. Um, you can read a little bit of the description. Um, you can check out download stats and screenshots, but obviously you guys are going to about to see this in a second. So all you got to do is come up and hit install. And then, and then basically just hit confirm. I already had this on my device, so I won't do it. Just hit, hit confirm, and you should be good to go. Okay. So the next thing you'll need is reflective dock. Really simply, just like we did before, type in reflective in there. Um, reflective dock will come up. Go ahead and click on and install it. Um, you will need to. Uh, it will respring your device, meaning it will shut off for a second and turn back on. No big deal. Okay. As soon as you get that completed, go ahead and go ahead and. Uh, let your device shut down, then go ahead and open up Cydia, and I will show you the next thing you need to install. So the third package that you will be installing is Pro Switcher. Um, there might be a couple different Pro Switchers, and to be honest, it really doesn't matter. They should all be the exact same thing. So go ahead, just like before, go ahead and open it, install it, read spring your device, and then come right back here to Cydia. So the last package you need is going to be Categories. Now I will mention really briefly here that this is actually not necessary. 
Um, all this is is basically will allow you to create a folder for your apps. It's not going to be the exact same thing as an iPhone OS 4.0. It's going to be similar, and if you think that that looks handy, go ahead and install categories. If not, feel free to not to, and uh, you can go ahead and just enjoy the other parts of the theme. This one's kind of up to you. Um, if you like, you might want to try it out. But anyway, whether you download this or not, we should be done. So as soon as you've either got had this on your device or you don't have it on your device, we're ready to go ahead and set all this stuff up. Hey guys, so as soon as you do all this, you should be ready to go. Um, now, if you now if you don't uh, if you don't know how to jailbreak or if you're new to it, all you need to do is open up Winterboard. And this should only take a second. Click Select Themes, and then you should see there might be a couple others. I have a lot here, but um, you should see iPhone OS 4.0. Click on it and then exit, and it will go ahead and load up this theme. Okay. Oops. Um, now, Reflective Dock should be activated already, so you should see the dock. You should see. Um, all the icons are reflective, and if I want, well, that's why I want to move them. The icon, the uh, reflections still stay, which is very cool. Um, so you'll have that, and then you'll have this full thing that I created. Um, so now you have the look of it. Pro Switcher should also be all set up. You really shouldn't have to worry about it. And to use Pro Switcher, it's extremely simple. Just go ahead and open up any app. Let's we'll say uh, Terminal. So I'll just go ahead and open up Terminal. Of course, this could be any app. I will note that uh, if you do have some apps, it can kind of uh, hurt your performance and la lag and glitch a little bit. So, you know, don't have 50 apps up and stuff because it, it can kind of get a little bad. But I, I hope you guys can figure that out. Um, now, Pro Switcher is a little uh, little odd. You can you can change, well, not odd. <laughs> you can change how to activate it. Um, I have it. All you have to do is just go into Options and Pro Switcher. Um, that's just really simple. Um, I have it set where when I double click the home button, it brings it up. And as soon as you do that, it's backgrounded. So I can go ahead and open it up and then kill it. But if I double click the home button, it's still there. And then I can open it up and still do you know whatever I want. Or if I just want to kill it, I just click the X. It's gone. It says no apps running, so I just go ahead and hit it, and it's okay. Um, now, categories is a little bit different. Um, of course, this is optional. Really, personally, I don't like categories that much, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys. Um, to do it, just open up the application, hit Manage Folder, and as I it said, it's, it can be a little dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. You can hit Edit, Add, then you can go ahead and create a category title, um, move apps into it, and then basically when you click on it, all it's a full folder full of your apps. Um, I'm not going to do that. I don't really like categories to be honest. They're not they're a little clunky. But if you do want the full iPhone OS 4.0 experience, it's pretty handy. So anyway guys, that is my video on how to get a lot of the really cool features from iPhone OS 4.0 onto your iPhone or iPod Touch right now for free. Um you know of course it's not perfect but personally I like it a lot. I mean like for example the Pro Switcher. I mean this is an iPod Touch second generation, one of the models that supposedly can't do uh, multitasking according to Apple. Well, you guys just saw I did it right now. So, I mean, you know it's, I mean, if you have, especially have you like an original de like iDevice such as like original iPhone, original iPod Touch, this is fantastic for you guys. So, hopefully this helped. Anyway, thanks for watching.